What's going on everybody? It's test drive time. Today we're taking a look at the Asatec TK Edition wheel, wheelbase, and pedals. It's, it's pretty awesome. Let's take a look. Everybody. Welcome to Redline Sim Racing. My name is Mike, and today we're going to take a look at the Asatec TK Edition Sim Racing package that I was able to pick up from Micro Center for around $800. Now, before we get into it, I will say that I have not seen that package available on Micro Center um, for the last week or week and a half as of basically January 11th, uh, 2024, here. However, the wheelbase is still $500, the pedals are $200, and the F1 wheel is $200. And as we go through the videos today, I just want you to keep those prices in mind. I'm going to be honest, I remind you several times of the prices because I think the value is incredible. Um, also, these are components I, I pay for myself. Uh, I don't have a sponsor for this video. Um, I'm just a sim racer that wanted to upgrade my sim racing setup and the ace attack tk edition seemed like such a great value i i couldn't pass on it and so we did the unboxing video i'll post the link in the description below however i want to tell you right now i'm probably going to sound like a show throughout this entire video because i'm just absolutely in love with the ace attack package the modularity of it um the, the performance of it, and I, I think it's just an absolute incredible package at this price point. The second piece of it is I can't find any documentation on the TK Edition hardware on asatech.com at all. So there are some things in here where I'm going to make references to the La Prima, the Forte packages that they have, but I don't have any way to cross-reference other than pictures. And third... I'm going to jump right into the racing first because that's what's important. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not super great at the racing right now. Uh, I can jump in and do the, the GT stuff just fine, but I do a little bit of a, uh, a little crash and burn on the F1 side, so stay tuned for that. Uh, however, I do think I, I get uh, the driving experience across, and so um, hopefully you... Hopefully you all see that. And then uh, last but not least, we're going to run through at the back half of the video just some more details around the hardware, get some close-ups, uh, review the pedals a little closer so you can see how some of that stuff works, and then also look uh, additionally at the rear of the, of the, uh, of the wheelbase. And so um, I'm going to be honest, I will do a little bit of a closing statement on this video, but it's a... Uh, it's a phenomenal racing package for the price point. So let's jump into it. Commentary might be a little bit limited here because I just want to really, really drive it and let you guys just kind of see how this thing plays. Oh, and I am going to say things like this is so much fun. It's so engaging. It's so detailed. You can just even that downshift when when I when I downshifted even a little too soon, that the wheel said, nah, you probably shouldn't have did that. And that's that's the that's the rear end kind of kind of given out. It's almost as if you can feel the motor. It's a wild feeling. And again, for $4.99 for this base, I mean absolutely incredible. Oh, it's just everything you feel. And the thing I love about this wheel, and I know this is something that F1 wheels all have, but just being able to get so much in your periphery, just as far as the red line and everything is concerned, goes so far. Oh, and you can just feel the back end come out right there. Like that was just such a p poor driving experience on my part. But um, I, I cannot explain in words how like detailed this wheel feels especially for 499 again 499 12 nanometer base you're not gonna find anything this detailed at this price you're just not 
Ace Attack is coming so strong. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to pause this and cut quick and I'm gonna pull up an F1 race because I wanna give you more than just the GT experience. I wanna actually pull up an F1 race with the F1 wheel. So let's jump into that. So here we are, we're in Vegas 2023 uh, in a 2023 F1 car. And we're just gonna go have some fun out here. And it's just everything about this is just so incredibly realistic. You can feel every piece of it that you need to feel. I mean, even right there where my where my back end started to come out a little bit, just being able to to catch it. And I also want to just illustrate like the pedal response is nearly perfect. Like everything you'd expect to feel is dead on. I, I keep saying the same things over, but it's, it's so detailed. Like right there, just I came out of that corner a little too hard and it just gave me enough to let me know, like you might wanna, you might, you might wanna let off just slightly or you're gonna lose the back end. Just like that. I'm just gonna drive a little bit just so you can see. Oh. That was not intended. Ah, I mean, just even coming out of that after the crash, just coming over some of that stuff, you just feel everything. And again, I just wanna reiterate, it's not the, the force feedback that's coming back from what, what I'm pulling that's so impressive. It's the feel of the road. It's the feel of the car that I just cannot continue to tell you how great and responsive this is. It fights when it should fight. It gives you the detail you want when you need it. And I should be a better racer than that, but that's where we're at. I just, I cannot tell you enough how impressed I am by this entire setup. And again, at the price, are there more powerful bases out there? Yes. Are there probably better wheels out there? Sure. Are there better pedals? Yeah, but the great part about the Ace Tech setup, you can upgrade it all. And this is all about value. So um, let's jump in, review the actual hardware a little bit without me driving, and then you know, follow up with just my overall recommendation and impressions. Hey all, so I'm trying to get some decent lighting on these pedals for you. Um, I will pull the camera off uh, to get a little bit better view here. Um, but the brake is load cell. What you can see that I really like about this brake is um, it you, you press it and it's hard. That's something you really want out of a brake pedal where the pressure is good enough to be able to give you a really tight solid brake feel but it's not mushy and with lower end brakes um sometimes they're just essentially like the you know the the accelerator with come with literally no tension on them um sometimes you can add a rubber pad to get a little bit more real brake feel however these are much closer to what you're really going to find in a high-end sports car, an exotic sports car, an F1 car, so on and so forth. Now, you can pull um, this part of the brake assembly apart and put in harder or softer rubber pans that Ace Tech does sell separately. So you do have some flexibility there. The other piece of um, this being the TK edition, um, is that these are essentially the La Prima pedals. So um, these are, again, also $200 US at Micro Center. And the La Prima pedals, I believe, are somewhere in the range of $350 USD on asatech.com. So I don't know why or what maybe changed about the manufacturing to make this version so much cheaper, but it's absolutely incredible. 
And then in addition, um, you can still go through the modular upgrades that Asa Tech provides. So if you wanted to move on to, say, the Forte or the Invicta versions of these pedals, you can go buy um, a replacement load cell that gives you a little bit better performance. And you can also go buy the accelerator spring or the accelerator tensioner that you can bolt on right behind here as well. So you can get in for $200. Uh, but then you can also buy upgrades to make these into nicer pedals without actually having to sell them and rebuy. You just go buy the hardware that these particular pedals don't come with. So it's it takes modularity to an entirely different level, which I appreciate um, a lot. The other piece here is um, you can adjust, you know, where you want this preset to on both sides if you want it to sit back a little bit. And you can also set the um, amount of throw you want on that pedal as well. So let me just try to get the camera off a little bit and get you a little better view into some of this stuff. Um, as we take a look, like I said, you can see the assembly here. Um, I'm just trying to get a better focus for you. There we go. Uh, you can see the assembly here, so you can adjust throw if you want a little bit of preload, which I like. That comes out, and you can also throw uh, a different, you know, rubber um, piece in there that uh, adjusts how hard that brake is going to, to press. And then over here, you can see there's the mount on the accelerator pedal right here that I don't have that spring tensioner on it, but I can order it from asatech.com again to upgrade those pedals. So overall, um, just an absolute exceptional buy at $200 USD. You cannot, cannot go wrong. All right, so let's take a look at the wheel um, and we'll talk about the base a little bit in this aspect here. Obviously you've seen me racing it already, um, but I have the base mounted to the Asatec front mount which is mounted to my um, next level racing frame. Z you know, essentially zero movement and the wheel um, has zero flex in it. This entire package has zero, zero flex or as close to zero flex as you can be. Obviously I can't feel any of it when I'm racing. So I'm just gonna power this down quick and just show you how the quick release works. Essentially it's just a little lever here, pops right up. Super easy to pop off, however, it has never popped off when I'm racing and it's super rigid when it's on the base. So again, I don't know how Asa Tech is doing it because this wheel is essentially from what I can tell, it looks just like the Forte wheel other than it has a different color scheme. The Forte wheel is $649 on their website. This is $200 at Micro Center. Now, there are other wheels out there that have LED screens and different things like that on them. Um, this isn't one of them, but we're talking about value here. And at $200, I don't think you can find a better value. And I'm talking again about the entire package, but just with the wheel, the base and the pedals, um, and, and looking at the prices separately, $200, $500, and then the pedals are $200 for $900 as separate pieces for a 12 nanometer base load cell pedals that are fully upgradable in the wheel. Absolutely incredible. So back to the wheel. And I want to acknowledge this. I know I sound like a little bit of a shill here, but as I was looking to upgrade my, my, my racing rig and I was getting a little intimidated by all of the options that were out there. And I didn't want to just go with like a five or an eight or a five or a nine nanometer because I, I knew that at some point that was going to feel a little bit just disappointing. I would want to upgrade later. And so when I saw that I could get a 12 nanometer with the F1 wheel and the pedals for what, like what I said, $800 for the package, but just it's $900 now because it's not in Micro Center, I was sold. And I, I cannot be more impressed because the equivalent of this package on asatech.com is going to price you out to around $1,400 or $1,500. So anyway, as we look at the wheel, completely rigid, smooth, no hitches, not even while driving. Um, the buttons you need to be able to reach, you can reach. Everything is fully assignable. Everything, uh, the lights are customizable, especially this 
um, kind of red line light here. You can kind of change the colors and, and change the alerts to make it kind of tell you different things that you want to see while you're racing. Um, the other thing I love about this wheel that isn't on every F1 racing wheel is you do get the two sticks. So essentially now you're getting full controller functionality. So if you do need to navigate menus and other things, and, and you wouldn't generally use the right stick for that, but having it there is really nice. Um, you're never going to really have to pick up the controller or the keyboard when you're in game. You certainly can. Um, but the Forte wheel on aceatech.com is $649. I cannot tell the difference, at least based on the marketing materials that are different between this wheel at $200 versus the Forte wheel at $649. So for everything I'm seeing, absolutely incredible, incredible value. Um, I, it, like, I keep going back to it, but if you're on the fence and you want to get something that takes modularity to another level, the pedals, the wheel, and I've got the Forte hub with the round wheel coming, that stuff's going to lock you in for as long as you want to to race. Now, obviously, if you wanted to go from the 12 nanometer to the 18 nanometer, yes, you'd have to sell the base, but absolutely blown away by Asetex products here. Um, I did have a question also, as far as just the base was concerned, reached out to Asetex. They got back to me within 24 hours. Support seems incredible as well. So um, <laughs> I know I sound like I'm going on and on, but I just can't be more impressed. So I do want to um, turn this off. I'm going to get a light on here so I can also show you the back of the base, which we haven't taken a look at either. And part of the reason I want to do that is because on the 12 nanometer base, there's a, another button that can be plugged into the 18 nanometer for a torque off. And what you'll see on this base is there's another hole over here where you can turn a torque off button. On the back of the base, uh, there's an input for that button, but it has a plug in it that um, just, I think, just keeps the torque on all the time. The one thing I want to test is I do have another power button. I'm just hesitant to put it in here to see if it actually works as a torque off, but we'll test it out. So let me pull the camera off, get a light on the back of the base, and um, let, you, let you see what we're working with. So here we are at the rear of the base, and I should have did this when it wasn't mounted, but I do want to show you a few things. So... Over here, power, pretty standard stuff. And then here's the wire that's coming from the power. And as you can see right under on this other side of it, there's that torque. There is a torque port here for torque on off. I just don't know if another power switch would allow me to control torque. And the one thing I love about this base is it's just a USB-C out to a standard USB to your computer, but it also does has a, has a USB-C hub built into it. So that's where the pedals go. But I'm also curious, and I, I haven't tested this, but I'm assuming that if I do buy like a Moza handbrake or a Moza shifter, I bet you I can plug them right into there rather than having to run them direct to my computer. And I'm hoping that it actually registers as, the, as if it's directly plugged in. So I will definitely test that uh, when uh, I get uh, a handbrake or a, or a shifter on here, and I don't know what product I'll go with. But again, m again, more flexibility from Asetech. So, you know, for the price, um, again, I keep saying it, but I can't say enough. So uh, we'll jump from here. I'm just going to give you some final impressions. And then again, if you if you like the content, please subscribe. All right, everybody. So there it is. Like I said, uh, I'm so impressed with the Asetech ecosystem so far, the hardware that I've been able to buy, and the experience I've had with it. Uh, there's not really much left for me to say that I haven't said in the video uh, so far, but I will tell you this. You know, there there is no right way to do sim racing. But everybody, I think, is always kind of looking for that value proposition and that like right price point, that right entry level point. And having come from basically a belt driven system and then looking to jump into direct drives, being able to jump in at 
essentially $900 for the base, the wheel, and the pedals, I thought was an exceptional value. Now, you can go get like a Moza Racing with the R5 or the R9 um, and get the 5 nanometer or the 9 nanometer, or you can jump into Fanatic and they're ready to drive systems and get the, the 5 nanometer or the 8 nanometer with pedals for, I think, and a wheel for, I think, 449 or around 500. Um, that said, when I looked at those packages, I, I kind of, look, it's nearly half the price of what I'm talking about here, but I didn't, I didn't want to have to go into that and then say, ah, I wish I had more power or detail in the wheel, or I wish I had, you know, better pedals. And then immediately the upgrade path starts again. I wanted to get something that felt like, um, would, would really work with me for some time. And again, looking that at the Ace of Tech stuff where I can upgrade the pedals without selling them and buying something different. I can upgrade the wheel without selling it and buying something different. Um, that was really appealing and really appealing to me. And so I'm going to be honest right now, I have no issue recommending the Ace of Tech stuff at this price point. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't have an issue recommending it at the price points of the La Prima package or the Forte package on the website right now. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I also want to say that, you know, Forza and Moza Racing are also incredible packages uh, to be able to pick up too. And so hopefully I can get my hands on some of those and also test them. But for now, as far as my rig goes and, and, and my setup is concerned, uh, I couldn't be happier. So like I said, Redline Sim Racing, my name is Mike. If, uh, if you wouldn't mind, please subscribe below and we'll see you next time.